lean their direction for this solely because I'm a believer in the power of Meepo in the hands of a Meepo player. And really, VP, they can win. I, 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 like, I actually think that might just happen. Mm. So. All right, so quickly yeah. to round up. You are going to be. In I, I'm switching it to VP. Your VP? No one, no one's going to oh, bother. No, 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 VP. I'm going VP. All right, so both my panelists are on the VP train. Yep. But all I know is we need a game, and we're ready to get underway. We actually have Lyrical and Trent on the line, ready to kick this one off. Okay. Oh, hey guys, they got a freaking Meepo. That hero is undefeated so far in this tournament. Uh, and we had a quick 2-0 earlier, and now kind of feeling like game number one of this series could be decided rather rapidly. I mean, it might be drawn out a little bit, but Trent, I feel like you, it, when a Meepo draft comes out, you kind of know what's going to happen. And, you know, if the, if the boxes oh, yeah. get checked, it's all good. But uh, how are you feeling? I don't know. It sounded like they weren't sure what's going to happen. They seem to think like, <laughs> oh, yeah, NIP is going to win. Oh, never mind. No one's just going to body him. Yeah. <laughs> GG. Apparently. I mean, what the hell? That, like that's a little bit crazy to me. Um, Do you do you agree? Like, do, do you like this Monkey King as an answer? Sorry, sorry. I'm uh, doing some mic diagnostics, my, my friend. I'm good now, though. Okay, sounds good. I you you sound awesome. beautiful. You sound right. really cheery and, and well awake. Oh, Sometimes perfect. my yeah, well, we're good to go now. We're not gonna worry about it uh, I see Zayas is back on his patented uh, triple fairy fire build like he was on that pugna. Hey, let's go He's got some, uh, some strats. I see um, I think it's uh, it's the new the new hotness, you know, you get six damage out of that solo though gets blocked off by era looking to see if he can just run him down here uh, with the orb of venom and I mean I think solo is just gonna get beaten down to death, right? Uh, he might be able to get in range of the tower. Does Era decide to dive it? Uh, towers, to they're pretty mean these days. Oh, uh, they see that there's a ward well, there, too. Yeah, there you go. He just like that, that worked out. Yeah, <laughs> easy. Well, cool. That helps quite a lot. lot for Virtus Pro, though. That's like all your supports wasted time, and you just lost a ward. But yeah, I'm uh, very interested in this mid lane. I don't think I've, I don't remember the last time I got to see like a Monkey King versus a Meepo. I feel like whenever it's a Meepo game, it always comes out of those like, all right, it's a perfect Meepo game. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Monkey's really been a part of one of those because you can, you know, you think about Monkey and you're like, well, he seems to have a lot of very good things you like versus Meepo, like the big AOE lifesteal you might get later on from the Boundless Strike, constantly harassing him with right clicks, hunting him in the jungle. Seems like a pretty good counter pick. Yeah, and this, he looks very unhappy right now. I would say he's uncomfortable. He's trying to maintain <laughs> social distance, and no one is not having it. Uh, he's just killing all of his creeps, getting deny after deny. And this is that hero that did just get nerfed too, right? Like, didn't have an absolutely wonderful time in that last patch. Um, you know, now he doesn't get his second Meepo until level four, so he has to get through that sort of awkward phase of just being one hero for a little bit longer. I'll yeah. uh, we'll have to keep our eyes on it. I also uh, wholeheartedly approve of the triple bubble strategy between, uh, or uh, sorry, the quad. We, we made up to four. We have the egg, we have the Mars Arena, we have Chronosphere, and we have the uh, the Wukong's command. Jeez, that's a lot of like big circle Venn diagram action going on. And if you're right in the middle of all of them, it just really sucks to be you, pretty much. Um, I, I think it summons something like <laughs> um, Big Beast. I think we get a new hero if they manage to do that. Come on, guys. We got to make it happen just for the people out there. Um, Charlie trading off against Resolution. Obviously, this matchup uh, very much into the favor of Juggernaut. But you can kind of do some things as Mars if you get out to a decent start. Uh, and it's just a Chen that's with the Jug. So not as dangerous as something like that Grimstroke Jug uh, to sort of beat down on the Mars. There's definitely going to be uh, like outplay potential too, though, because you know the Jug wants to try and like abuse down to a potential healing ward at some point. So he might be hanging a little bit low and you've got the spear. So, you know, you, you can definitely play some games with them. Yeah, definitely some, like you say, big outplay potential. And if you see a kill in this lane, you know that there's an outplay that's going on. Uh, down bottom, a little bit of a mix up there as well. Saberlight, probably going to be one, one that wants to like sort of set the tempo with the Meepo. Yeah, he gets a bunch of points up there. Uh -oh. He's coming back under that ward or that hawk. Era, he knows it. They're just so helpless these days, man. They just, <laughs> they just die and die. Mid lane. Oh, no one. That's a hop, skip, and a jump for the easy last tap. All right. There it goes. Primal Spring taken early. 1-1 one, one, or 1-1-2 one, one, build, actually, out of no one. And I guess from the, uh, the diagonal tree play. Very nice. 
That's some geometry. It's impressive. So Nico tries to get this pull off. We'll be able to connect it. See if Zayats can come and interrupt it a little bit here. And it looks like he's going to be able to. So no free pull away by Seneko as he taunts in their face, drops the uncooked egg. And Charlie continues to take a beating. Resolution's had a great time so far. 20 and six versus 16 and two. Yeah, this looks uh, quite fine at the moment. Charlie's like in a, kind of a bad spot. I'm not sure, like his courier just came, uh, but I don't think he brought any more regen. He just finished uh, what he had. I, mean, I guess he's a Chen, right? So he's thinking like regen shouldn't be that important. He's got 7.4 HP regen. That is so insane. Whenever the Chen's next to him. It's crazy. All right, yeah, uh... this hero's still busted. <laughs> Mid lane. Chasing in again. Round two onto Supreme. They're TPing in era though. And well, Supreme gets the punch on him. No one able to get away. That would have been nice if he could have been able to finish oh, him off. I there. Hate rune. <laughs> <laughs> At least they have a ward. Dude, is he just gonna dive him again? <laughs> Supreme's like, didn't this just happen? Oh, he gets a second Meepo. Right as no one was going in on it. Wow. That was convenient. That was close. But what can he even do? Yeah, he can basically just juggle. It's like he just like, oh, well, now this Meepo can farm. It's like, well, I don't want to be anywhere near that hasted Monkey King either. Dude, th this is really bad. Six and two for Supreme so far. I mean, holy crap. This this is a hell of a beatdown. 28 and 17 from the Monkey with the solo kill. It was like after the first wave, no one just stood in between Meepo and the wave, and that was it. Oh, man. All right. Um, well, he's going to need to play catch up and he can go off to the jungle at this point. That's that's about all you can really hope for. And in fact, man, this is actually crazy. No one's going to be able to come and contest his jungle while not missing out on much in the wave either. All right. Well, at the very least, Era can come in. He's going to get some. And uh, they are missing on the, in terms of that rotation. Like, no one didn't find him. So he's gone over to the other jungle. Like, no one has to play that little bit of a guessing game, right? A lot easier, I think, for him to hunt this jungle area, too, compared to the uh, the eastern ones. So Supreme's feeling kind of safe right now. And he is still a Meepo. So he will slowly recover uh, as long as, well, maybe not that slowly, but uh, as long as he doesn't get hunted again by the Monkey King. So, right. Not uh, not over yet. I guess now we got to look towards the other heroes, right, on NIP and see, like, what what, what kind of plays can they make? Mm -hmm. Oh, that that's good, though. Zayas is getting the wards down. It is being scouted, though, and they ping exactly where Zayas just placed that. So good defensive vision there from NIP. Ah, well, eh, yeah, on that that's, side, at least that's a I'm, DD. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, right, is that no one like he knows, OK, if we don't see him over in this jungle over here, then that means he's over here and is probably going to make that rotation in the medium camp. It's like pretty clear what Meepo is going to try and do is bottom lane Saber Light now also going to get stunned up. The chase board coming. No one, an absolute monster. In these early goings. 2 at 0 1 at six and a half minutes. How is it only a 1k lead? I guess it's because the support is not. I don't know. You just look at the net worth. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you look at the net worth, and it's just like Monkey King 3k, and then the Mars is 2800, and the Void is 2600. The highest Dire Hero is 2400. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Try this. That doesn't it, look like it's adding up to me. It, it's looking really scary. Um. I, I feel like it's going to be very likely accentuated this lead uh, rather rapidly. It's probably like a 1900 gold lead or something. One of those things. Yeah. Oh, hi, Supreme. Cool. Hello. Uh, Chase jumps onto the smallest tree in the world and just gonna drop the Wukong's command on Supreme. What a freaking bully. He's chasing forward, wants to get a little bit more damage. Is he gonna be able to find the kill with Zayats? They're diving. He's even splitting the damage between the two Meepos. The burn is not quite enough to find the kill, but they force him out of the jungle. I like how they just stopped, even though there was like a pretty likelihood of getting that dive down. Maybe he's still not sure about the limits behind a, a tier two tower these days. Right. But that's good... I mean, that's just as good as killing him at this point, honestly. Like sending him all the way back. Okay, it's not as good, but it's pretty good. Resolution. All right, he was thinking about it. <laughs> Snake gets hit with like one tap of that orb of venom. It's like, hmm, can I kill him fast enough? I mean, it's feeling like it's a possibility at this point. Virtus Pro have gotten everything that they wanted out of this game. Oh, this is doesn't get an invis dude. Oh, wow. 
Wow. These, these runes have been vicious. That's going to be all three in a row now. The four, six, and eight bottom lane. They're also going to drop the chrono onto Saberlight. But Air's there with the disarm. Although no one shows up, Mr. Invis is going to make things absolutely horrifying. Era has already used his swashbuckle in behind the kill, though, on the ILTW, but no one comes up with the double. 4 0 1. This man's on a roll. Huh. So Saber like got the double kill. He killed the Grimstroke, I'm, I assume, with all the summons and everything. Hmm. Well, no one's happy. He's 4 0 1. Ah, oh, yes, a poor man's shield. This will save me. You know the, oh. the buff that Meepo needs? Every Meepo gets the neutral item. I don't know broken? if Meepo needs buffs. Yeah, I think that sounds a little broken. <laughs> Especially when the Apex comes out. Yeah. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. <laughs> I like that idea a lot. But even just like the, like, you can you imagine five clumsy nets? <laughs> I think he has that already. That's a fair point, yeah. yeah now he he's the upgraded clumsy net. Right. It doesn't actually need to hit him either. It's still only a thousand gold lead. I mean, the fact that they're keeping it this close is encouraging. And you can see that Meepo is starting to catch up rather rapidly, right? Like he's, he's just now behind the void. Yeah, it's also because the Beastmaster is so rich. Like Saberlight's just doing great damage. He's got 50 last hits. He's gonna hit that roar to save himself off the ink swell. And I think he's gonna live. This guy's liver. Deny? Nice. The boar deny. You like to see it. Takes away that Helm of the Dominator creep from them. But in the meantime, it is going to be a takeover of this outpost. And that means a one for one exchange. Yeah, that was uh, gonna be bad. Oh, look, and now the next rune. Can he get every rune in the game? I mean, I think possible. So. I mean, with the way the game's going and the map control they're likely to have, I think that if he wants it, he gets it. That's funny. He actually has just no one contesting them, though. It's like, it just doesn't really make sense for any of the heroes on an IP to be at the runes. Right. I guess one Meepo theoretically could be, but they're, they're just so free for him. They haven't even been warded half the time. It has no arms yeah. to defend itself. I mean, it's all warding that's just sort of aimed at trying to protect Supreme whenever possible and keep him as far away from this monkey as they can. And uh, vice versa. Right. <laughs> yeah, hunting him, too. Yeah. yeah. I feel sad for well, down bottom, NIP trying to get some aggression on. This is kind of an interesting play they, here. They had the hawk seeing it all, too, though. LTW does have Chrono back up in five seconds, and the tower is within deny range now. We'll see if they want to go for it. It looks like they're going to. They went mid. Ooh, that was close. Chase forward. Roll under resolution. No one. Not going to interrupt the Wukong's command, actually. It does finally come out. Charlie now trading hits. They also have that supernova down, and if NIP get out of this one with Charlie, alive this is pretty big for them so then with that rotation but they still managed to secure that bottom tower at the same time with like a three hero rotation because the phoenix leaving yeah very good defend your mid tower that's getting a little bit low considering how much the monkey king dominated uh, very surprising they still have this tower but that's mostly just because no one didn't make a an effort to try and knock it down right he, he identified the more important thing which is trying to hunt down for that meepo yeah. who is still right at the bottom of the lowest cores alongside the juggernaut in fact now even below the jug they both go back to hitting creeps but the difference between him and like this beastmaster now it's only a couple hundred gold um that's, that's not true. too bad at all no. so the, i guess the other thing there was that it was faceless void that got the deny on the tower bottom you're still happy i'm, I'm assuming to take that over and gain a mm -hmm. little bit of map control for nip yeah i mean considering how many heroes they rotate it looked like they wanted like a fight to defend you know yeah as nip oh another one let's go every rune every damn one invis and if they're not careful on nip who is over here this is resolution that's nearby being slowed down by the boars yeah, it feels like the big uh, the big saving grace here is this this uh, Beastmaster by Saberlight, like you were talking about. Yeah, I think if I was NIP, I would just really want Snakeo to get six like as fast as possible, because you know the hunt is coming again, and just Hand of God would be so helpful to go alongside that mechanism. Well, he's farming up a storm right now. The shovel picked up for the Mars and Virtus Pro trying to make a concerted effort towards taking down this tier one tower mid and there's no glyph, so it's just going to die. No, no chance to, to interrupt that one. 
Yeah, when they're going to mass their team fight like that, they just don't really have the best options. I mean, that's going to be something that's going to be the story of this whole game, really. Like, until this Meepo is absolutely huge, that their threat is basically just assassinations and, like, single target. Like, Pango's their best AoE as they destroy the Beastmaster. Yeah, that was a quick and easy one. Take him down. That was a five hero rotation, or four hero rotation, rather. Uh, as LTW is still up in the top lane, who's trying to take down the tier one tower there. Um, so that's at least a little bit more space again for the Meepo to try and catch up. He's now just behind the Monkey King. Um, so they've finally been building up. Oh, is, is he going to go for it? Thinking about it. Snake goes dead in the Rezo, mid lane. Rezo even pinged it, which, oh, they're going to deny it. Disappointing. Man, they just dropped the Wukong's command again. Just for the Chang kill. Chang is level six now. Use the mechanism that last time around. I mean, because this is that weird moment, right? Where it feels like this would be the, the timing when NIP are sort of strong with like any other hero. But Meepo, like, he kind of needs to get into that first item, right? Yeah, he's, he's just behind. He's just not, he's not scary Meepo timing. Right. He's going to wind up like kind of okay for a Meepo game. It's not horrendous. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit slow. Um, they did get another rune, but they weren't able to make any use of it, unfortunately. But his streak continues. Gets level 11. There's another one picked up as they take down the Pangolier. So a couple pickoffs here and there. Meepo gets level 11, so now he's got three of himself. And VP, how do they try and convert this next round of, of fighting? Like, trying to see if they can take down tier twos. I guess there's one last tier one bottom. They can just clean up if they want. Well, if you're NIP, the only thing they can really do is try and split push right now. Like, they're trying to keep the side lanes pressed because the, uh, the faster you're losing these side lanes, like, that's going to be just more invasion paths into the jungle. As Solo looks like he's going to give up his life to ensure that no one will escape. But, uh, yeah, like, they've already taken the mid tier one. Uh, so NIP are just like, all right, trying to relieve pressure on our jungle by, like, pushing these side lanes out as far as we can, right? And, like, this is what a Beastmaster does. He plays down to this area, he pushes out, he uses the Hawks to protect himself. So he, he wants to like keep drawing this attention down here. In that respect, it, it's kind of working. Like they just got to pick off on the solo. Now they're going to move themselves in perhaps the Chen Creeks. I'm very hesitant to go up that hill. I would agree. Yeah. I do not think that would be a very wise decision. But this game looks pretty easy at this point for Virtus Pro in terms of like how they need to play because they, they're they going to have a really good idea of where NIP are. I think getting this vision back up will be nice. I wouldn't mind some deeper wards to spot couriers because couriers just like give away everything you're doing. And uh, they're going to go for that uh, radiant top jungle right now and deny this away from the Meepo. And they see this Beastmaster, or Chen Creeps rather, heading up this hill solo. The smoke breaks onto Seneco. Supreme's still sitting here in the mid lane. And the blink forward, that's the resolution blink. The spear comes out. The rest of the Meepo is showing up to try and turn this back around. Can they kill off the egg in time? No, the Proto! Oh god, the Venn diagram happened! And it's all in Supreme's head! Look at them drop, trying to take down Charlie now as well. The silence, the bashes come out. He dies as well. Oh, they weren't ready. Trent, they weren't ready. No, I saw a fifth dimension for a second. <laughs> oh my god, and they're not stopping either. Diving tier four towers with no regard for NIP. NIP just unloaded a can of whoop ass on him. Yeah, my eyes are open, dude. Like, I, I have a, a fifth eye. Like, I can see a whole new world of light and power. <laughs> That was that was everything. That was everything. <laughs> they just clicked all of their R buttons right on top of that Meepo. Life was good. I mean, that's that's the problem is that like, how do they actually kill Faces Void right now with this Meepo so underfarmed? The only hope is you roar him and and Omni slash him and chain stun him with Pango. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know life looks so good at the moment, and I think that just lets them play so free. Dude, I I am uh, I am fully on board now with what you were saying. I was like, well, you know, maybe there's a chance that like uh, they're gonna be able to get up to where they need to be, and you're like, yeah, it's no, it's pretty freaking first <laughs> pro. And I, I guess now the idea is like NIP can try and play aggressive with the ultis down or something. I, I don't know. They can try and get vision out, maybe. Vision's okay. good. Okay. <laughs> Temporary expectations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just hold on. Uh, a nice goal would be having an outpost at 20 minutes. They still hold the bottom one. Maybe Virtus Pro won't go for that. I think Roche should be on the mine too. But yeah, they are going to press all the way in. Okay. Roar the Grimstroke. 
I don't have Chrono. They don't have much to try and try this pack of Oh, Five wait a minute. Wait a minute. Another round of this one. The spear somehow again went through the arena, and Supreme caught in the midst of all of the beams of pain, but the heal coming out from Chen. That keeps him alive. Yes, right. so many things went well there. They knocked down a no one, too. I'm not sure if it was the... Uh... I'm not sure what hit him, but someone was able to knock down no one, which was huge, because he was just casting Wukong on all of them. Say hello to my yeah, that would have been real bad otherwise. Yeah. It's just like, it creates so much chaos, and they have the Echo Saber slow too. But hey, excellent work, NIP. They got like the best case scenario. You're able to achieve an objective while all the ultimates are down. You use that to get yourself towards the Evil Blade. You still have that outpost, as it's been recaptured by Saberlight down bottom now too. Oh, sorry, they, uh, no, that's right. They had the top one already, but they just recaptured the bottom ones. Now they right. own both, but Zayat's going to take the top one. And based upon where VP is right now, it doesn't feel like they really want to go and contest bottom, so that one should be a freebie. Uh, Era. All right, does he go for the ultimate play? The channeling while he's in Rolling Thunder? To steal it back? No. No is the answer. He's <laughs> running away. <laughs> he's not insane. I haven't seen that done in a while. <laughs> Cool. Cool. Um, all right. All right. Down to the side here. They're going to claim a courier in exchange for that ward. Yeah. But the smoke up coming from a VP. They knew the Beastmaster's up there, but they know a tastier target. Well, it's actually the Chen. That's not super tastier, but. Oh, he's got the right ping. I'll be W. Oh, Supreme run. Get out of there. Oh, night vision. Yeah. Innocent I was real close to, to death. Yeah, tough time right now for NIP. Definitely 2,000 gold leaders. Charlie's going to TP away. And so too will Saberlight. Uh, still just split push by more time. Game hasn't changed. There is a question of Roche at this point. Okay, I need to go back there and see if anyone else even got a rune. He actually just got that one. This is insane. This guy's getting everything. Picked up the last DD too. Picked up the invis and the hate guys. I think he's picked up every single rune in this game. Well, oh, like Cream found an illusion rune. Never mind, he ruined it. Damn, nice. Players. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a question of Roche right now. I think VP. It's like if if they're split pushing bottom Zayats, uh, probably dead with the hoof stop. Nice. Sick play. Eric comes in to secure it. Well done. I mean, that that could have potentially turned around. Actually, oh god, VP. They're showing up with the rest of them, and they found Supreme yet again. Meepo attached to the spear, and let's just drop all the ultis on him yet again. Chrono Spear down on top of it. They don't have the Phoenix, but literally everybody else. Can Supreme get out, though? Is he actually going to lift this? Are you kidding me? e blading himself to stay alive. Omni Slash comes out. The save was there from Chen. No one now turned on as well. They take him down. Oh, they dropped all their R buttons, but the Supernova. They didn't have all four. They forgot. They needed them all. <laughs> they and missed now, one. <laughs> and now into the Roche pit. What a turnaround. Oh, uh, Meepo Gaming. Actually, what in the, there was a huge play there, which was the clumsy net from Era. So it doesn't like chain you in place anymore, but he actually stopped no one from syncing up with that damage right at the very start of that fight. He got the ulti down, but then no one was just stuck. And he couldn't, like, he would have died, I'm pretty sure. They would have killed that Meepo when he was super low if he didn't get that clumsy net on top. So. Clutch stuff there from Era as well as everyone else to uh, to help their Meepo survive. I had to check to make sure they didn't have a Vlad's. But I, yeah. I'm shocked that they didn't. I mean, obviously Meepo has uh, got, got the ransack too, but that was just like going nuts. Yeah, and the E Blade to keep himself alive in the Wukong's command was pretty big. They're gonna find this Grimstroke yet again, trying to bring him down. The heal is out though. Resolution is pissed off. Gonna kill off Saber Light now. Era under control. They step a little bit They're too far forward, but Supreme, Supreme, he goes in. He wants to take this fight onto ILTW with no more Chrono. The beatdown is there. The route continues to come. And Kyle was right. ILTW dies to this Meepo. That yeah, is the voice that here. Was, that was the condition. How do you kill the voice or the, the faces void when there's a, a poor Meepo? Very hard. When there is a rich Meepo, not very difficult. Oh, Supreme. <laughs> Almost got no one there. Oh, it's spooky as hell. So, uh, Ransack and Chen's pretty busted, I guess, eh? Radiant's top I assume yeah. that's why his life seal's, like, insane. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a pretty good combo. Gotta love Chen dotes. And now Seneko's gonna get a Vlad's, too. He's, uh, just a little ways away from it. 600 gold. Yeah, I saw that last fight, and you're like, yo, guys, that was really good. <laughs> Part where you almost died, but then didn't die. 
That helped us a lot. All right, so ooh, what to do, what to do. You have a Meepo, Aegis, and you still have all these ultis. So ultis are good. Aegis is a very good counter to the ultis, though. So Virtus Pro, this game just like evened up, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's pretty much where we went from. It was like, all right, this game's like looking super good for Virtus Pro. They can be like, walk this down, take control of the whole map. But then they uh, are unable to get all their ultimates out and suddenly this Meepo's a hero again. So NIP, they're going to start smoking and aggressive. They just want to keep the, the one by one pickoffs going. They don't want to be sitting ducks for one of these big giant plays of uh, Pangea continent super collisions. <laughs> Yeah, that's the uh, that's the danger town you get in there. And that's part of how they were able to make that last fight work. Like, killing off Zayats at the start of it, that was huge. Um, well, chasing Resolution and Zayat, able to make the escape. Mid lane, Snake goes pushing yet again. Still I don't not... know, Snake has got the right idea, dude. He's still going. Oh, are they going to find him? Oh, the Hawk? They got him! Oh my god, they got him! And now the chase down comes. They've got the control with the hoof stomp, and they will be able to bring right. down no one. Saberlight is a complete beast because he didn't go for the LT. <laughs> yeah. like, so sure this will be fine. fine There's them. no way I'm getting outplayed by some boundless strike or something here. I think that probably is the Hawk cooldown again, too, right? Like, that yeah. talent, you can just keep spamming him out. I feel sad for these structures oh. are fortified. All right, 2,000 gold lead now in the, you know, projected win probability graph just keeps on going further and further into NIP's favor. Can't believe that Virtus Pro, oh, and now they use the roar mid on resolution. The uh, Sunray coming out to try and keep alive Rezo. And Era gonna throw out the ulti. Control comes in, Supreme shows up, and Mars likely to go down as they do have the net trying to keep him away. Ooh, blink away before the earn damage came in. So Rezo actually able to make his way out. That's not gonna hold. Top tower is under attack. Bit of a reprieve there for Veritas Pro. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Do they, do they have a, a spirit vessel? Okay, they have a spirit vessel on Phoenix. Five charges of it, but Supreme, now they find an LTW in their own jungle. Man. So close, that beat gave me two. <laughs> Tips him. Like, yeah. All right, well done. Hey, you know why they probably found him? I bet it was those Hawks again. Yeah. Because there is one in there. Things that are pretty good. It's really hard to deal with. Are they going to try and go high ground on this Aegis? Eh, 45 seconds. No, All right, they are definitely going. All right, no Chrono. Excellent call here. He was 200 away from the BKB, man. They are sniping this timing right now. They this do not want to fight without everything. Because they know if they lose this, the game might just be over. Yeah, they have to take that fight. 10 seconds left until Void. Uh, tier 3 towers aren't as juicy as they used to be. They they really want to go back yeah, in. And 30 it seconds off. until the Aegis dies. Oh, this is really spooky. Gotta be careful. 20 seconds now. Whatever slowdown they can possibly get. Wukong's command, they're going in for it. They're crazy. The stun is out. Meepo under control is going to die. Yeah, but he pulled the last one away. Yeah. yeah. They weren't able to wait for it. It was like seven seconds away, too. And now Meepo has Scotty done on top of Blink and Ethereal Blade. 5,000 gold lead, the first racks claimed, and NIP ready to go again. Where are they predicting their movement? They're saying they're going to push out top and just like run at them. Charlie is way ahead, right? <laughs> All right, Charlie's going to hold up. Go. He doesn't care about anything. The madman. The bait's oh, there on the Rezo. Yeah. But the hawk's coming. It sees oh, all. Oh, there it is. And now they find backline. It's gonna jump Zaya to roar him right at the start. Hoof stomp afterwards, blown the hell up. And now no supernova resolution trying to get away. The jumping comes. Oh, just by the skin of his teeth. Resolution able to get out of there before Era hit him. Rezo makes enough bold jumps that he knows the exact moment where he screwed up completely. So he hits that TV button very quickly. Or uh, if many other people would have died right there. You remember at like nine minutes when Meepo was like 300 gold ahead of the Chen? Yeah. <laughs> We're in a very different place now. Times have changed. Now he has 300 lasted. Let's head to the jungle. Make things happen. Just cre kill Creeps, lol. Like, what? Right. Sorry, I about Dota. <laughs> so that's the NA way. Um, yeah, BKB Maelstrom for Void. 
He is super broke at this point. Uh, Resolution at least has the Crimson Guard done. It's like little things to sort of try and hold off the, the incoming damage, but I mean, you've just got so much more sustain on NIP with this Vlad's done now, the Chen bonus on all the heals. And walking up a hill, Resolution wanting to find somebody. Who do they run into? Saber Light's there. Resolution jumps onto him, trying to control Clumsy Net down. LTW trying to find a target to stick onto, and they will find the bash for the finish. Invisibility! Yeah, it's only one kill, but at least it's like one of the more valuable guys on the squad, so VP will take it. Uh, it doesn't cost any of their big spells. That's probably the, the, the biggest part of that, because now they can invade up top into that dire jungle, try and get some wards down. And if they come across Supreme, they can just throw everything they have on top of them. And Supreme is just lurking with an invis rune at the moment. Oh How bold God. is he feeling? Is it the biggest brain play? Nah, he's just gonna push that out. Roche capable of respawning in 30 seconds. That invis is still sitting on it. If he wants to, no one's there. Oh, it's tempting. But Supreme gonna play it safe. Oh, no one has his BKB now. So that might have been his only window. Well, Supreme ah. jumps away and they're going to be fine. So now it's we fine. have double PKB big cores. Is that enough that Supreme can't just like whoop them to death? I mean, I think he definitely still can if there's any sort of a good initiation from NIP, especially now. Oh, Satanic on the jug, too. That is nice. That's a cool build. Deso Satanic. And I'm going back for Butterfly afterwards. Uh, it's uh, it's looking really good. 30 minute mark though. Trade off of Outpost looks like it's gonna go. And it was a really fast Roche respawn. Yeah, they haven't checked yet though. Oh man. I mean, if they know that it's there. I, I know, it's kind of late with that big creep wave bottom though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. God, looks if like, they would have uh, known. Well, they're not, they didn't go for it anyway though. NIP didn't stay. I mean, I, I guess that they can just go for this. The DD rune on freaking no one. A man of many runes. It all comes back again. But they didn't check it soon enough. And now the NIP. Hawk. The Hawk. They're they're trying to move out. The Hawk was sent the other direction. Oh, it went in already. It's all on. right. There, there. Move in, coming. Charlie wanting to contest. No one gets bashed. Very inopportune. Now some boars slow onto him. Turn, kill those boars. This is where you, you got to trust in the team fight, guys. You think they just go in with the BKBs? No, no, okay. definitely not. Okay. <laughs> trust <laughs> that if they go in, you can win this fight. Got it. SVP, I think. That's the difference. Unfortunately, uh, Supreme is just farming a little bit. Look, look at this, like Meepo's at home. This guy is just AFK Meepo went over here. Dude, you need to gank that area. That's the next level play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those guys watching his games, you know where to ward. <laughs> exactly. There. If Meepo squads. Them. Okay, now they're hitting neutrals. Dust comes out. On the strike, ready to go. And IP trying to play oppressively up in their face. Hoof Stomp connects now. On to no one. Still have the Soulbind if they want. Arena goes out. Spear on to Saberlight. Supernova afterwards. No one gonna go with the Wukong's command. No, but the roar! They interrupt it. He doesn't manage to get it off. Jump forward looking for ILTW. He still has his Chronosphere available. It's an Echo. Gonna heal himself back up. They fought back on the grip. Jump, jump forward. Destroy that Phoenix. And now the Supernova around the Chronosphere now, but they don't have the damage. There's nothing left in it. Do they have any right clicks at all? No. Soulbind on it to no follow up. And where are they at? I mean, they're just going to completely blow up the Monkey King on the other side of it. Era trying to get brought down. He will be able to escape afterwards. The continued control, but they finally managed to bring down Meepo and Charlie. So a big win there from Virtus Pro as Saberlight, one of the last ones left alive, disarmed for the moment. Spider Legs not going to stop it. And you said it. They had to trust in the team fight, and they did. Chase I think Ford, Renzo. Ah. Oh, yeah, he maybe he's out. good. Chase, Chase, he's good. Rezo's initial chase was very good because it wasn't just like the two heroes he hit with the arena. It also cut off the juggernaut too. I was very concerned when that Chrono went down though, and no one was being kited around by the Pango and the Beastmaster. I thought that was going to be the end of it, but with the uh, the buyback there for the Phoenix as well, probably helping out quite a bit. Like the sun rays and everything after the the supernova in the first round of his life. <laughs> I, yeah, I definitely thought that was gonna go way worse actually. <laughs> Ended up making it work. And Pango 
he is not going to be able to make any type of magical moves here. So 33 minutes and VP managed to get the second Roche as uh, Juggernaut's going to pause and no one in era just kind of look at each other for a second here. <laughs> See what happens. Oh, he doesn't have balance strike. It's all right. That uh, spear vessel was really messing up no one after the BKB too. Era ran out of charges fighting him. Mm -hmm. Just like kept spamming them on him, but uh, he used the essence ring on uh, on no one to, <laughs> to survive. It got uh, pretty dicey near the end of their little battle. Wonder what? Uh, so he got chronoed, and then after the chrono, oh, it doesn't even show the main. I was trying to look at his damage sources because I'm not sure how they managed to bring down that meepo at the end. Post yeah. Chrono. It would have it, probably because it's, it's going to show on different ones. Different. Yeah, exactly. Right? It just shows that summary of like the main one. But. Right. I think the Phoenix definitely did a lot to him, though. Um, Phoenix felt like he was doing a ton of damage. Yeah, I'm just going to go with Sunray. <laughs> yeah. Like, Sunray, good. <laughs> Seems uh, it's I mean, that combined with the spirit vessel, like particularly against the Chen, like the fact that it has that AOE component to it now, um, I think that that's really important for uh, facing off against Meepo as no one. Well, he's going to chase Era. Era did not decide to commit the Rolling Thunder, and he's going to be punished for it. Here to death. I was there, Paul. I don't feel as bad. Oh. <laughs> so it's OK. Jason may be looking for more. No, no one's just going to farm up some creep. So I think thousand it might be here. time for a gem here, guys. Yeah, rocks are getting mighty annoying. I feel like the gem's gonna pay for itself pretty quickly with how many of the guy sends out. That's a good point. You get some decent gold from it. It's like 60 or something now, I wanna say. I don't remember how much it is. It's good though. Um, I will say the Aeon Disc for Zayats can make a pretty big difference. That like just absolute blow up potential that NIP has and making sure he gets the egg off. Really important. It's still going to be so hard to get the egg off, though, even with the Aeon disc in a game like this. Just because there's like Beastmaster for the attack speed aura, and then you also have the Meepo. You have a Juggernaut, like... Yeah. Aeon yeah, disc really... is like, okay, well, at least they have to hit me a few more times before I die. Yeah, I I, I mean, they have to protect it with the other They just go right under that ward back there, I think. Frame breaks the smoke, throws out that. Jump forward, coming for the Lucian on top of the Wukong's command as well. They're on to all of them. Supreme is dying to this one. Chronosphere on the back lines to isolate the rest of them. E Blade to keep alive Meepo, but there's the Sunray damage that comes through. They blow him up. Omni slash down, stunned and killed. Rolling Thunder coming through. Era trying to turn this back into their favor with Charlie alive. Maybe that's enough damage, but he gets speared. Pulled away to the other side. Saber Light also under control. The rest of them are going to try and get taken down by Charlie. It's a good bit of damage over time on all of them they actually blow up another and this satanic is doing enough work to keep charlie alive turns on to iltw they lost the meepo but they won the fight oh my god he has teammates now they're arising jug the second richest in the game now after that fight he just got 1337 gold wow Complete, ladies and gentlemen oh my god <laughs> I don't know last time I heard that. It's been a while. <laughs> oh, you know, the numbers support it, so. That's right. Congratulations. And then Charlie's your guy. So they used Aegis and Cheese on that one, right? Or no, ILTW still has the Aegis. Yeah, he was the one who didn't go down. Okay. But yeah, oh. that's a bit worse. Of, uh, man, that fight got kind of messy because like the, the Mevo took so long to die. And then ILTW was like trying to make the fight better by chronoing on the side. But I'm, I'm not sure if like there was even that much damage going in at that point. I guess he was just trying to like hold off on the heals and the saves towards the Meepo and then hoping they could finish it after that. But yeah, either way, Charlie's terrifying right now. Satanic, Paladin Sword, Butterfly. You, you've done so much in your game to itemize versus the Meepo to try and keep yourselves alive. But now this Juggernaut, like, what do they have versus this Jug now? Yeah, it's a very interesting dynamic that they have going on here. Well, and, you know, Faceless Wood, you can see opting more for, like, the damage within the Chrono than anything else. He took the 40 attack speed for ILTW. Oh, 
down the strike onto Charlie. Roar turn around onto Zayas, trying to control him. The jump board yet again. They've got all their ultis up another round. NIP are crazy. But ILTW is going to go down at least once. Can they bring down this Meepo yet again? The right click's coming in for all the heals. Supreme going down low and is going to die. Charlie trying to make the big, the hero play. Can he do it? He's taking a lot of damage over time. Has another play fury in a second. With this butterfly, he's doing a lot, but it is not going to be enough. They will lose the Juggernaut. But in the meantime, Era jumps in, kills off the Monkey King. Still some heroes alive on NIP, but they need to get out of there because their main cores have died and Era also going to drop. So <laughs> I can't man. believe he was Vessel that entire time. That is an insane amount of life steal that he has on Charlie. Yeah. Thank God that he has so many charges. That's has eight charges still left after spamming them throughout that fight as well. And he's just constantly Three keeping them pegged down with these spirit vessels. And yeah, and again, the AOE too. He used four spirit vessels that fight. That's crazy. And he keeps on getting, I mean, yeah. And I, I think that part of the thing that's nuts about it too with this jug is like, he can take it off with the spin, but he, I don't think that any of them were dispelled. Maybe like one charge of it was dispelled. Yeah, I don't know. He was spinning like at the very start, I think on the tower. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's got no dispel working for him. Oh. Resolution kills the courier that gives him enough gold to finish the AC. Nicely timed there. Um, I don't know how to read this game. Like, it feels like it's still just on a knife's edge. It could it's, go either way. It's the big ultis, you know? Like, again, like, the, that egg was so perfectly placed, kind of like in between the Wukong's command and just inside the arena, too. And they couldn't reach it because it feels like there's just everyone's lacking some sort of itemization. Because the Dire, they still don't have uh, magic immunity because they're versus a faceless void and, like, a lot of BKB piercing stuff. But then they couldn't get through the wall to get to the egg. It was just immune. Like, yeah. No one could get there, so the egg goes off, and even if they don't have the best items for killing the jug, like through his butterfly or anything, they managed to win that giant team fight. Now they can start itemizing towards those MKBs. So this game is just like ebbing and flowing back and forth based on who gets the last big team fight win. Still very even. Uh, both teams have that potential for the complete blow up too, between like the Omni Slash, the Meepo Jump, even just a spear right now. I feel like there's enough damage because everyone's just moving as a five man unit anyway. Feels like oh. the big pickoffs are what we need. And they find him. Meepo on the backside, but the turnaround is there. No one pops his BKB. Ton of damage coming in. Hand of God, it's not enough. Meepo is down with the Chronosphere and the Supernova going down round two. Charlie. They're under fire. This is huge. Charlie gets the Omni Slash off. Are you kidding me? Able to live through it. He's healed back up to full. That's a Satanic Omni Slash. Turns on the solo, blows him up. And now the root on to ILTW trying to jump away. Do they have the control? They do. That is Supreme back in the fight for round two of this one. But did they get enough for that buyback? And if they go now, maybe. Mm, uh, the Roche isn't for a minute 20. I don't think they can really go high ground here, can they? Well, oh, well yeah, they, yeah, they can. Never mind. There's no, there's no ultimates. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you definitely go high ground. All right, That's not 40 yeah. seconds until Monkey King and Supernova are back up. They have the Arena of Blood back up again. Buyback comes, able to get the Spear into Charlie. They got to keep them alive. Barely able to get that spin run away off. And Charlie still oh. under control. The turnaround with the Satanic, trying to live through it. The silence, it's not quite enough. Seneco's nearby with some heals in a oh, second, so but fine. he's not going to be there in time. Still, they take down Charlie, and now the roll through coming from Era. The rest of NFP have to get the hell out of here. Supreme Blinks tries to get the poof away and will manage to escape Seneco on the other side of that tree. Oh my god, the most valued tree ever. He manages to escape too. Oh. Where did that even put us now? So we had buybacks from the, uh, the Void and the Grimstroke. So yeah. our total buyback credits right now, actually, almost no one has buyback. It is just the Phoenix and the Chen. Wow. And I mean, Jug's pretty close, Pango's pretty close, but other than that, no one's really that close. Hmm. What other items? I feel like we haven't seen much of Virtus Pro hitting neutral creeps. They only have the Illusionist Cape right now, which isn't even on anybody. Now, on the other side, uh, NIP have four neutral items, including a Minotaur horn that's just away somewhere. Where is that at? That's a great question. Unknown's not a good sign, that's for sure. Did they leave it on the ground somewhere? Might have been the. Don't the Meepos drop them? Isn't that like a common Meepo issue? Oh, that could be. We'll have to keep them. They drop them. At least they used to. 
Dude, if the Minotaur Horn is just like hanging out somewhere, that's a huge item. Oh wait, they got it. Okay, they got it. Oh nice. It's on, uh, it's on the Beastmaster now. What a relief. Yeah, some pretty big items. Meepo gets the ninja gear. 20 extra Agi for him. No one gets some too, though. Pretty nice for a Meepo, or for a Monkey Kings trying to move across the whole map. Man, they do they still not have a gem? They really need to get rid of this vision. There's so much good vision from NIP, and they're about to capitalize it on it, I think, on Rezo. God, he's like so alone. All right, now the backup is coming, but now they've already committed in. Era Roar comes out. Spin comes from Charlie in time. The turnaround is going to be there in just a moment. Seneko kind of isolated away from the rest of his team. He's trying to live through this one. On the back line, Supreme finds LTW, seeing if they can find that kill. Leashed for the moment. Roar had already been used, but there's going to be the Chronosphere used afterwards. Charlie living through this one. Era's living through this one. Oh, never mind. There is the turnaround that they needed, and the silence and the stun onto the jug. He can't get that Omni Slash off. Saber Light gets back. They take all four of them down. What the hell happened in IP? I think they got a little baited. Like, they had such good vision, and it looked like the rest of VP were going to kind of back up, and Reza was alone. So I think they were just about to think about jumping on him. But then they saw, like, the other three heroes coming, and Saber, like, just kind of went for it. Uh, like, it was a pretty good, like, chaotic way to start that fight in some sense, because if things are planted and set, we already know how well that's going to go for Virtus Pro. Like, uh, that area is just, like, so broken apart and a lot harder to land these, like, big five-man ults, I feel like. I mean, Supreme did get the backline jump. He killed the egg right away. Yeah. It wasn't enough, though. And this tail of buybacks does not spell uh, anything good. This 270 away for the jug. There's no bounties coming. Yep, and oh, there's the might couple not. range creeps. Yeah, I don't think he's going to tick into that. They don't have any way to get that for him. No, this is just no buyback for the jug, although he's going to be back up in 25. They did decide to use their glyph on that second wave to try and kill off the creep wave. So that was one nice part of it, at least. And you can see that it looks like British Pro feeling uncomfortable with pushing high ground with the creeps in their base. They lose both sets of those racks already. Only going on to one other one. Yeah. They, they saw Roche with their courier, so it's like, no point going for tier three, as we know tier threes are kind of worthless anyway. So I might as well go back to secure Roche. And who wants an Agonim? That seems like Monkey King, probably. Although, I, I still haven't seen this uh, Void one very often. It seems yeah. pretty good now. Uh, against Meepo, that seems kind of busted. But maybe if you had the Battle of Fury, it would be a lot better. I like the Monkey King one, just for overall being good. Yeah, get it oh, queued wow. up earlier. Dude, if you had the Battle Fury, though, and that new face is Void one, and you like time walk through and cleaved everything. That sounds pretty sick. I like that idea Although, it's only a time lock prop. So maybe that doesn't matter, actually. Well, whatever the case, gets a Witless Shackle and a Minotaur Horn. It is a 10,000 gold lead now for Virtus Pro. And you can see NIP so close to closing this one out with just that one last set of racks, but it does not happen. And well, Supreme, they find him. Okay, sheep, poof away, <laughs> easy peasy. <laughs> Will we make it to the end? That is the question of new items. <laughs> Are we going 60 plus? I don't How know. Is there high ground? I don't think it's that good on the side of NIP. This this is looking like danger territory. Of course, we said that several times this game. Right. Where it looked like things were uh, very much in the hands of Virtus Pro. Did not work out at that point. So who knows? It could be. It definitely could be. Um, oh, Bounty yeah. Rune's going to be taken by Supreme here. 45 minutes in, and he's just running around with his ninja gear, keeping the rest of his Meepos in a very safe space. Back in the fountain. And also on the hunt here. Oh. Arrow will just get out. Okay. And just to escape, LTW. Underneath some vision there, I thought, with a hawk. It's still hanging out in the area. But it's still, it's just, it's so hard to chase anybody down here. Dive on a gem a while ago. I, I, the Radiant's still not bought one. Doesn't look like it. Looks like they really need a gem. No. They have that four. Uh, Solo just wants a scythe, which is fair. I mean, you're a grim stroke. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. All right, smoke up. Let's see what they do. Charlie, gonna get initiated on right the start. Managed to get the spin off resolution. Yeah, uh, underestimated late. the status resistance, I guess. Tried to like min max it. 
Oh, wait, no, they found him though. They found the monkey. Oh, Charlie wanted to go for that so badly. But now FTW, yeah, Omni Slash, he got nobody. Oh, FTW, there's no escape. The Hex comes out afterwards. Charlie able to make the jump away. He got a great play versus Bro, a little bit slow on their spells, but now trying to make up for it. Seeing if they can take down this Chen. The Soul Bind is onto both of them. Saneko, he's got the Hand of God afterwards. The jump in coming, Charlie will go down. But now the continued run at you from Virtus Bro is gonna be enough to find those couple of kills. Yo, where was Nepo in all that? Yeah, exactly. He could not get in. He just couldn't find it. He was just completely absent. Wow. He's all alone in the world. Beam. That was like the opposite of when they killed the Meepo and then everyone else cleaned up. That was like, Meepo? Yeah. Why are you going to face back now? And they're just going to try and end the game. I mean, Virtus Pro, they recognize a moment when they are strong and they're going to force out some buybacks from the jug. At the very least, Charlie jumps into all of them. Supreme on the back line. The jump through. Is it going to be enough? Charlie's got to run. He's got to hide. No satanic. He's dead. That's a dieback. If Supreme goes down now, this is going to be tragic. They're controlling Saberlight. Era rolls through, tries to find the kill, trying to just buy enough space for Saberlight to live. While well, Era and Supreme just look on as Virtus Pro take their base. Unbelievable. Oh, Supreme comes in, controls one. Now trying to take down LTW. He managed to get the jump away. The net did not come soon enough. This time dilation is also kind of wrecking the Meepo. Era gonna get pinned to the tower yet again. He is dead, buys back now. And LTW might get jumped on in just a second. They do have another Hex available in three if they want to use it, but no one is now back in the fray. He's got a boundless strength to turn this back around. Virtus Pro might just have enough. They jump forward, try and blow up no one. Is it gonna be enough? No, he gets the cheese off. That's gonna be enough to make him live in Supreme. Going to drop, has a buyback yet again, is forced to use it. Supernova wearing off in just a moment. They don't have Chrono seconds, but it doesn't matter. The throne goes down, and in the end, the ultis were enough. Yeah, maybe they were trying to get all the ultis out because the Meepo can't play in them right now. Maybe that was like their win condition was like hope that